Good morning, Sumner High School. I'm Lucas. And I'm Jacob. Welcome back to your KSTV Morning Announcements. On Friday, October 4th, the Daffodil Parade through downtown Sumner will be at 4. And then just after that, there's going to be a carnival in the courtyard. And then after that, there's going to be a varsity football game against Rogers at 7. It's going to be a big day. Make sure you go to the dance tomorrow, Sparts. Now let's throw it to Maddie for a health tip. Good morning, Sparts. Maddie here with the health tip of the week. So, Sparts, as many of you know, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And last year, over 41,760 women were diagnosed with breast cancer. So, Sparts, it's super important to get tested as often as you can. Just a friendly reminder from me to you. Have a great week, Sparts. Thanks, Maddie. And now for our resident quote man, Nolan Mata. Good morning, Sparts. I'm Nolan with your quote of the week. And today's quote is, a champion is someone who gets back up when he can so, that was also by Jack Dempsey. Be a champion out here, Sparts. See you next week. Thanks, Nolan. Now for the word of the week. What's up, Spartans? I'm Dylan here with the word of the week, which is wily, being full of craftiness or being sly. For example, Gabe was supposed to do the word of the week, but he, he was being wily and made me do it for him. It's Gabe Mool, not Gabe Weber. Thanks, Dylan. Now, for a fact. Hey guys, this is Jag, and the fact of the week is that slugs eat twice of their body weight every day. Whoa. Have a great day. Thanks, Jag. Now, for In the Real World. Hello, Spartans. Welcome to the real world. I'm Gabe Weber, and I'm here to bring you news from around the world, starting first in the state of Washington. Governor Jay Inslee is pushing to ban all flavored vaping products. Other places in the country like San Francisco have already put all out bans on these products. Other news from San Francisco, the, e the EPA has issued a violation notice to the city. Why you ask? Because raw sewage is seeping onto beaches, into streets, and into people's homes, which is not good. Other news about cleaning up the world in Rome, Metro riders are now allowed to trade in trash for tickets. That's pretty good and a 315-ton iceberg has broken off of Antarctica. The Titanic II is set to sail in 2022. Thank you, world professional Gabriel Luke Weber. Not for the weather. Hey, Sparks, I'm Gabe here with next week's weather. All right, so Friday, it'll be rainy with a high of 61 and a low of 46. Saturday, it'll be partly sunny High of 65 and a low of 44. Sunday will be rainy. High of 67 and a low of 51. Monday will be rainy. High of 71, low of 52. Tuesday will be rainy. High of 64 and a low of 46. Wednesday will be rainy again. High of 58, low of 45. And Thursday will be partly sunny with a high of 58 and a low of 45. Have a great day, Sparks. Thank you, Mr. Weatherman. Now for the sports. The Sumner Varsity football team won Friday's away conference game against Curtis by a score of 41-0. As a result of that win, Sumner's national rank has moved up 357 places, and their state rank has moved up 7 places. This Friday is our annual homecoming game, which will be played against Rogers at home at 7 p.m. See you there. Thanks to our sports correspondent. Annie Ross. Alrighty, Sparks. As most of you know, we also have some new staff this year. Let's get to know some of them better. Thank you for joining us here today. Uh, tell the people watching what you do here in the building. Sure. So I am the Dean of Students and the Athletic Director. So um, some supervision around campus, some lower level student discipline issues, and then athletics probably takes up about, right now, about 80% of my time. And uh, what path did you take to get here to SHS? So I worked most of my career in Federal Way School District. Uh, I was a classroom teacher at Thomas Jefferson High School, and then I was the AD over at Decatur High School, and then I bounced around a couple different schools for a few years, but I most recently was at South Kitsap High School. I was the athletic director there for the school and the district. And um, now I'm here at Sumner. And uh, what are you looking forward to 
in your experience here at Summer High School? You know, I've, um, when I was at Decatur as an AD, I was in, in the league uh, with Sumner. And, uh, and then, of course, at South Kitsap, we were in the league with Sumner. And so I've always been uh, really impressed with the, the quality of the programs at Sumner High School, um, the fierce competitors that Sumner athletes were. And you knew whatever sport it was that when you're getting ready to compete against Sumner, that you were really going to have to show up play well if you wanted to have any chance at all and so I'm really looking forward to, to being a part of that not only in athletics but the band program here is strong and the IB program the leadership program just seems like culturally it's a really good place to be and so I would say that's probably what I'm most looking forward to. Would you tell the people watching what you do here in the building? Um, I am a teacher extraordinaire, uh, teach uh, digital photography and uh, help out with your book. Uh, what path did you take to get here to SHS? Um, strangely enough, this is only my third year teaching. Um, always wanted to be a teacher, but never thought it was really possible until uh, just recently. So, um, worked a couple odd jobs, tech guy, financial aid guy, uh, sales, and then decided to jump in and try something I was passionate about. What are you looking forward to in your experience here at Sumner High School? Um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting to meet the students here and getting to tell them all my dad jokes. And is there anything else you want to tell the people? Uh, anything else I want to tell the people? Uh, go Pack Go um, and uh, find something you're passionate about and chase it. Yeah. And one last question. Yes, here. one last question. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Oh my goodness, she was always hiding out in Peru. Um, but personally, uh, I don't know, but I understand that Chuck Norris always knows where Carmen San Diego is. Do you have contacts for him? I don't. No, unfortunately. Yeah. We'll have to keep this investigation on going. <laughs> Back to the studio. Thanks for the great interviews, and also hope you had a great, great homecoming, homecoming week, week. And, and have a safe, safe homecoming. homecoming. That's all we have for you today. And if you missed any of our stories, check out SpartanNews.com anytime for these and other reports. Thanks for watching. And remember, it's a great day.